everyone, I am back with another booktube book review. So exciting. This time around I will be reviewing The Bonfire of the Vanities by Tom Wolfe. So let's get started. Question number one, what is the book about? The book is about this rich guy on Wall Street who has everything. He's got this beautiful socialite wife, he's got this foxy mistress and he has this great job on Wall Street and this expensive apartment in Manhattan on Park Avenue and he thinks so highly of himself in fact that he refers to himself as the master of the universe and all of that just comes to a halt when he takes a wrong turn into the Bronx and gets involved in a hit and run with a poor black boy. And so the whole of the book is basically the aftermath of what happens after this night in the Bronx. Question number two, what did you not like about this book? It's really slow. <laughs> it's so slow. That's it. Question number three, what did you like about this book? Actually, I liked a lot of things about this book. First of all, character development was insane. They just had so much depth and so many different conflicting attitudes and interests and philosophies just pile up into one character. My two favorite characters, one of them is Larry Kramer, who is this assistant district attorney. And he's caught up between wanting to be, you know, an activist of the 60s and wanting to impress his friends who are these tough macho guys who don't, who doesn't care. He also wants to impress women, even though he has his own wife. He's also envious of, of other people who make more money of, um, than him. And then at the same time, he's sort of fighting the fact that he's grown desensitized to the whole prison legal system. There's all of that going on into one character and it just sort of just spills out into this book and, and you just watch it happen. It's just like, oh my goodness. Also Sherman McCoy, who's, you know, he's the villain of the book because he's this rich guy who ran over this black kid in the Bronx. You learn to love this guy. He is an asshole. <laughs> he's an asshole, but like he's worked so hard to attain this lifestyle and for what? Where is everybody around when he needs help? What What is this lifestyle really worth? And, and it's just interesting to watch his character unfold and how he critiques um, his very lifestyle. Also, the plot is very complex. I like how there's sort of like, you know, four or five characters sort of living their lives and then one event brings them all together. So I thought that was pretty cool of Tom Wolfe to put that together. The book talks a lot about race and class and politics and very timely too. There's a few passages where Sherman McCoy is, is looking at these, these black kids. Oh my God, this black kid's coming towards me and he's probably gonna rob me. This little punk's coming toward me. Oh, what are you gonna do? And really the black kid is just like looking at this crazy guy out in the rain trying to pull this dog. And he's just like, uh, what the hell is his problem? But like in Sherman's head, he's, of course he thinks like this guy, this black kid's out to get him. You're out there in the jungle trying to fight these black guys. And I thought it was very timely considering, you know, Ferguson, all of the police brutality cases we've seen in 2014 and race and class and politics, just how it comes together. And it's not preachy. It's not like watching the movie Crash where you're supposed to come away thinking, oh, I'm gonna be a better person. I'm not gonna judge anyone ever again. It's just sort of an examination of what happens when those three things collide. And there are no good people in the book and there are no bad people in the book. They're just people trying to get theirs. I do like Tom Wolfe's style of writing. He, he critiques people but doesn't do it in a, you know, as I said, preachy way. It's just sort of bringing a funny light to it. And I thought that was pretty cool. Question number four, would you recommend this book? And if so, to who? I would recommend this book if you are a fan of literature 
and you don't mind a slow moving story. The reason why Tom Wolf does so well with character development is because he spends a lot of time going into the character. So if you don't mind that, I say go for it, read it. You're going to probably find a lot of things that you're going to enjoy. Overall, I would give this book a four out of five. It's a very good book and I recommend it, but at the same time, it's very slow, so I probably wouldn't read it again. I would read more of Tom Wolf. In fact, I'm looking at um, borrowing the Electric Kool-Aid Acid Test, which is a nonfiction book, but it goes into the story of Ken Kessie and his merry band of pranksters. Um, so if you like LSD, <laughs> Let's do a read along. If you've read the book, go ahead and let me know what you thought about it. If you have not read the book, let me know if this review was helpful to you. And until next time, happy reading.